All right, next up here in Theater A, we have lightning fast analytical queries on massive data sets with ClickHouse with Luke. Go ahead. Hey folks, uh, welcome. My name is Luke Gannon. I'm a product manager here at ClickHouse, and I'm going to be talking to you about lightning fast analytical queries on massive data sets with ClickHouse. Uh, so what is ClickHouse? Probably the best place to start. ClickHouse is an open source OLAP database designed for blazing fast queries on massive volumes of data. So we speak fluent SQL uh, to the ANSI standard. Uh, we're designed to ingest and query massive amounts of data extremely, really fast uh, and efficient storage with amazing compression ratios. Uh, our architecture can scale to any shape or size with our support for distributed queries, replication, sharding, multi-master and cross-region support as well. So since its inception in 2009, the product was open sourced in 2016. Uh, ClickHouse, the venture backed cap uh, the company was incorporated in 2021, raising over 300 million in funding. Uh, we're ranked number one on, as an analytics database on DB engines. We've received over 40,000 stars on GitHub. Uh, and thanks to contributors of over 1,500 contributors, uh, we're growing a community of over 200,000 members too. So four really popular use cases where ClickHouse is really used in the wild. Real-time analytics, so customer-facing applications designed to scale to like hundreds of thousands of users concurrently. Uh, business critical reporting, so you can hook up tools like Power BI. You can use Quick ClickHouse as a query engine on top of data lakes or ingest it into ClickHouse for even faster query speeds for mission critical applications. Uh, we do SQL-based observability, which is becoming really, really popular. And it was the original use case for ClickHouse too, storing like Google Analytics style metrics and logs. And you can attach Grafana as your front end, or you can use our recent acquisition, HyperDX, uh, to analyze and alert on logs and metrics. Uh, machine learning and Gen AI, Gen AI is also growing in popularity. I'll talk to that, how you can use uh, basically power agents with our MCP server too. So we have thousands of customers and users deploying ClickHouse, technology titans like Microsoft. Uh, their Web XT team is using ClickHouse to store web properties. So gathering from products like Bing and Edge, and they're basically bringing it all into ClickHouse for their Microsoft Clarity product. Uh, so we have a great talk available on our website. So head over to clickhouse.com forward slash use cases, uh, and you can understand a bit more about what they do. Cloudflare also analyze and store over 1.5 trillion page views per month with additional 2.5 billion visitors analyzed per month. Uh, so you can handle such traffic and they chose ClickHouse because of our performance to ingest over 11 million rows per second. Uh, like I said, head over to the website if you want to find out more. So what our customers are reporting is that they're finding ClickHouse uh, basically provides more performance than other vendors with predictable costs and more productivity. And so the best part of ClickHouse is that it's designed and architected for the cloud and distributed setups. Uh, our cloud is fully managed and it's a serverless offering. So if you find that you need a multi-cloud strategy too, we've got you covered. And I'll touch on these on the next few slides. So we're always measuring real-time performance, looking at both read and write workloads. So whether it's analytical queries, aggregation heavy, querying across large data, several million writes per second, performing both operations at the same time. You can head over to our benchmark.clickhouse.com and you can get a bit more of an understanding on what we're testing and how we're mimicking real-world use cases. With loads of other vendors like Mother Duck are also adding their benchmarks in too. Uh, in terms of cost, we don't charge per queries. I know a lot of databases do. We typically, uh, they typically measure by total runtime, bytes or rows scanned. Uh, we charge by CPU memory and storage. So this gives you more control over your costs and your usage. And within ClickHouse Cloud, I mentioned this our serverless offering, so you only pay for the compute while it's running. And that gives you a low to, uh, lower total cost of ownership. Uh, in terms of developer productivity, we're a developer first company. Uh, because of our open source roots, we're always thinking about the developer experience and education. Uh, so you can run ClickHouse locally, whether it's uh, integrating with your CI, CD pipeline. We also have many cool built-in functions beyond the basic SQL ones. My favorite one is our bar function, which I put up. Uh, you can basically pass in your data with a few parameters. And you can have a bar chart for faster decision-making as part of your results. Uh, we also have native support for JSON, geo data types, plus user-defined functions. Uh, I mentioned we've got SQL, but we also have a native protocol for moving data over the wire. Uh, and you can also use the My MySQL and PostgreSQL uh, protocol. So you, we are basically supported everywhere they are too. And in terms of comparisons, I won't touch too much on this slide, but you can basically get an understanding of what our customers are saying in terms of their productivity, better cost. Um, Quick Check saw a 1,000x increase uh, on their query performance. Uh, Vantage saw their concurrency increase. Uh, and basically the best part of what um, I can't remember, sorry. AdGreets and Block also said was their compression ratio and they saw that the storage costs came down as well. So in terms of ClickHouse Cloud, it's the fastest way to get started with ClickHouse. Uh, it's our fully managed serverless offering and it's available directly in the Azure marketplace. 
Uh, if you head over to clickhouse.com, you can also get a 30 day free trial, $300 worth of credit, uh, and this can be used to deploy a service on Azure as well. So I've now said uh, we've got a fully managed service, but we're also expanding to bring your own cloud to. Come talk to us if this is something you're also interested in. Uh, we're available on all three major CSPs and deployable in all regions. Uh, we've also got a ton of security certifications. Uh, and I mentioned our billing model is pretty simple. Uh, it's basically you can purchase free in the marketplace, you can use your committed spend, or you can sign up with a credit card and come directly. Uh, we have both a handy cost calculator, which is available on clickhouse.com forward slash Python. Uh, if you want to learn more about marketplace and committed spend, come over to our booth, uh, 415, I believe, and have a chat with us. Uh, some cool features that I'm just going to talk about uh, is our warehousing feature that we launched this year, which is basically providing compute compute separation. So it's a great way for you to optimize both uh, your performance and resource allocation for specific users or workloads. So if you're looking at separating reads and writes, ultimately, you can scale these two independent resources uh, independently. So we also do credential restriction and network access control. Uh, we've got a load of talks from uh, Beehive, Common Room, and AB Tasty sharing how it basically gave them more high availability, flexibility, and predictability on their cost. Uh, we're supporting more and more open table formats. So you can either load from your data lake or your data, uh, your lake house into ClickHouse, uh, and you can, or you can use it as a query engine on top. Uh, I'll talk a bit more a bit later on about some ad hoc um, federated queries and data stored um, alongside ClickHouse. We also have our S3 cluster, our iceberg cluster, and our data Delta Lake cluster functions. So you can query directly where your data is sitting. Uh, we're also bringing down the speed uh, in terms of uh, reducing the performance gap between the ClickHouse native table formats and these open standards. Uh, and we're highly invested in this area this year. Another cool feature that I really like is our query API endpoints, where you can basically save a query, make it available via HTTP. Uh, you can make the request and rerun, run the query against your service, meaning you don't have a dedicated API uh, to query your data. And this is great for just getting to production really, really fast. Uh, I'm going to quickly touch on ecosystems and integrations because that's my area. Uh, we have ClickPipes, which, has, which is our cloud native experience to ingest data from a remote data sources uh, from around the cloud. So ClickPipes, really easy to set up. You select your data source, configure the schema and destination, uh, and you can create a ClickPipe either via the UI or programmatically using something like Terraform or our API. And because ClickHouse is really, really fast, ClickPipes is built to handle that amount of volume and speed. And so we take care of building and scaling these efficient pipelines for you, and it essentially accelerates your time to production. Uh, and ClickPipes has support for lots of different data sources, whether it's object storage, like blob storage, or Azure blob storage, PubSub, like Event Hub and Confluent, uh, and we release, recently released CDC pipelines so you can do Postgres or MySQL databases and keep those in sync uh, between your transactional use cases and, and your analytical an use cases. Uh, we've got tons of integrations too, so if you don't fancy uh, using ClickPipes, you can also use our table functions to access data lake storage or blob storage. Uh, we've got Spark Connector available, Power BI Connector. Uh, we also work with Data Factory and all your favorite tools and uh, sorry, drivers in terms of like C-sharp, JavaScript, Java. Uh, so most of the languages that you want, we support. Um, I'm gonna quickly touch on Gen AI and AI agents because they're the hottest craze this year and everyone's talking about them. Uh, and this is obviously where speed is crucial for powering these agents. Uh, and so because we're built for real-time responses and we're highly concurrent, you can attach your agents to ClickHouse and you know you're gonna get the query results in milliseconds. Along with consistent performance, you can be confident that your users and agents scale as your database needs to. Uh, and you'll be querying the most up-to-date data without needs of lots of servers. So MCP, uh, the model concept protocol from Anthropic, uh, provides an LLM, a way to augment data from tools. And if you're interested in learning more, there's a great blog up by Riyadh, which I've attached there at the bottom, along with a video on YouTube from Mark Needham, who shows you how to get started. Uh, and you can also download the MCP server from GitHub, and give it a spin. Uh, but instead, I'm going to give you a quick demo of using uh, what we call Agent House and how you can get started with that. Uh, let me see if I can move over. I got taught a new trick. Uh, wrong one. There we go. So uh, Agent House is available. You can go over to llm.clickhouse.com uh, and you can start basically inspecting. We've got a load of data sets. So I'm going to ask you what data sets is available. Uh, and in the background, this is basically going to be running queries in real time using the MCP server against the ClickHouse database. Hopefully, the hardwired line works, uh, and hopefully, you can see the screen quite well. Uh, so, what it's done is it's run a bliss database command, and it's telling me that there's like COVID, Twitter, Hacker News available. Uh, so, I'm going to pick on uh, 
Yes, let's do IMDb. So tell me, well, me more about the IMDb database and what I can do with it. So as it's thinking, it's going to explain because we're using Claude, so it's going to tell you how it's working everything out. So it's going to explore the IMDb database first, see what tables are available. And you see it's going to run a select query where it's basically getting the table uh, from the actors and the count of things. Uh, and it's basically trying and doing trial and error to basically build up these queries in real time to understand what to do. So you'll see it run a bad query, and now it's going to do another query, uh, which is actually compliant with our SQL. And you can see it's just bringing back these results. Uh, and overall, it's now going to get some like top hits from the movies database. And so it's going to tell me a bit of information about it. So it sees that there's tables around movies, actors, actors large, uh, as well as directors, movie directors, and you can do like movie analysis, actor and director analysis. So I'm going to be cheeky and I'm going to say, can you build me a dashboard telling me about the top sci-fi movies uh, and their directors? So it's going to go through again and it's just basically going to start inspecting that data and hopefully i've got enough time and it will build this dashboard for us i know this is quite a slow demo uh, i apologize i'm blaming the internet so you can see it's here running a query where it's like selecting uh basically the year the name uh from the particular genre where it's in sci-fi and it's got a particular rank greater than naught uh, and it's going to continue to go through oh there we go. And now it's going to get some information. So here it's like doing some calculations as a decade, uh, doing a count and an average on the rank to get more information. And hopefully it's going to start creating a dashboard. So in real time, it's building this HTML dashboard. Uh, so it means that I don't have to take this time to work out all these SQL queries and ultimately uh, build up a dashboard for whoever's asking about this information. So in real time, we can change this, ask different questions and have this demoed uh, and give it to someone. So give it a second, and once it's finished building, could have probably given it a little bit of a limit to speed it up. Oh, I hope I don't run out of time. There we go. So you can see it's obviously building both the HTML as well as the JavaScript, and this should be a nice pretty dashboard, hopefully in the end, there we go, of the top 10 sci-fi movies of all time. So some of these I don't know, hopefully we've got some sci-fi fans in. Uh, I think the only one, I don't know any of them or any of the directors, uh, but hopefully we can start seeing that like number of sci-fi movies started picking up in the 1990s, but in the 2000s it dropped off. And you can imagine if someone wanted to like ask you for a dashboard like this, you could be spending the best part of half a day to a day building this up, working out what queries are right. Uh, and the nice part is, is if someone goes, how do you know it's not hallucinating? You can basically take the queries themselves uh, and start inspecting them and checking them yourselves. Uh, yeah, thanks for coming along. Uh, hopefully, I should be able to say, come along to booth 415 if you want to learn more. Uh, and if you go to clickhouse.com, you can learn more about ClickHouse. Thanks for listening to my talk.